Now at 11, Citizens Property Insurance continues its push to move policyholders to the private market. This month, private carriers took over nearly 100,000 policies, and tonight, the CEO of Citizens came to South Florida to explain why they need to drop customers. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho shares what customers need to know about the move. Here at a town hall in Westchester, Citizen CEO explains the state mandate behind the drop. His biggest piece of advice, check your mail if you're a Citizen's policy holder. I wasn't happy that I was moved out of Citizen and have a great increase, especially I've never done a claim. Citizen's policyholder Damari Herrera recently received a letter from them telling her she's no longer eligible and must switch to a private carrier. We should be the smallest insurer of last resort and probably slightly more expensive than the private market. Citizen CEO Tim Serio says that's currently not the case. He outlines the state mandated depopulation process. At policy renewal time, if a private insurer offers a premium policy within 20% of your citizens one with comparable coverage, you would no longer be eligible for a citizen's policy. We are at 1.3, 1.4 million policies. We're about 16% of the total uh, homeowners insurance market in Florida. Serio says citizens' current exposure is around $600 billion. He adds it leaves all policyholders vulnerable. If a catastrophic weather event depletes the state back insurer's reserves. We are statutorily obligated under Florida law to assess other policyholders who aren't even citizens' customers. To ensure they pay all claims. That's a worst case scenario for homeowners right now. It's continuing to pay higher premiums. My rate increase for this year was 18%. Last year was another 16. It just keeps on going up and up. Herrera learned at the town hall that she does not have to accept the options from private companies in the letter sent by citizens. She can shop around. Now I feel a little bit better, and I'm glad that I came. And still to this day, the number one issue that I'm hearing is property insurance. So we have to find the solution, which we've been trying for several years. House Speaker Designate Danny Perez tells us his homeowner's insurance increased by 120 percent. He believes newly enacted state laws targeting tort reform and other measures will ultimately provide better options for consumers. And we believe that within the next 10 to 12 months, we'll start to see more stability in the market, increased competition, and not the increases on the rates that we are seeing today. And Citizen CEO tells us that the optimal amount of policies that they should be writing annually is between 450 and 550,000. Again, he emphasizes to check your mail, call your insurance agent if you have one, and to call citizens to try to get the best policy that you're eligible for. Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.